Hello, good morning from Ordinetta City in Pangasinan, Lausanne, Philippines. I'm out here on a cloudy day, and I had one more video in mind. The sun just came up, and what I wanted to focus was the battery. Because a lot of people, when they're hardwiring these things, they, they're intimidated by the battery. <clears throat> and it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, I, I keep my... Uh, charger stored inside this because there's plenty of dead space that way you ain't gonna go hunting for it okay what i did was and i talked about this before is i put a circuit breaker now if you see the wires coming up from the bottom loops through the circuit breaker and then uh loops back here into the uh you see right here the wire goes into the battery box and it goes directly to the two positive negative terminals just like this plug over here does, the plug from the uh, factory has another two wires going directly to the battery box. Now, if you can imagine, if you see this, this is my prop for the video. On the, on the red wire, there is a fuse with a 20 amp fuse, 20 amp fuse in line on that plug going into the battery so this is my prop but it's actually functional and what i want to show you is that this is nothing but a loop okay and what i'm going to do is or it's like a bypass this plug is the same plug that's coming from the e-bike uh, and then plugging into a plug like this where the battery is on the other side so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offer as a suggestion is just make one of these and you can bypass the, the normal plug. But you're just, you're, it's just going straight through. And then here I have a tap. I tapped in the middle, connected the two, and I have the wire that, that you could connect this to your, your solar panel. Positive. I always go printed positive and the ribbed is negative. That's how I remember when I use this kind of wire. But this is good wire. This is 17 gauge heavy duty weather resistant wire. Okay, you can see I have the bypass plugged in. It's uh, and it's all bypassed. Now if you go up here and you look there's the key right there. There's my thumb or my finger. You see the light comes on. So it's all set. It works just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, now you can leave it like this with this wire coming off of here going to your solar panel. And it's protected by a 20 amp um, fuse from the battery. So maybe that's enough for you. Me, I'm old school, old ham radio for, I don't know, 40 years. I like, I like the idea of two uh, 10 amp, two of them in line going up to the, uh, the, um, uh, the MPPT controller. That, that's call me crazy, but, um, just to give you an idea, I, a long time ago, I actually had a short circuit on a car we were working on its kids. And that wire going up, going up, turned bright orange all the way up. It was like a giant heating coil, like the inside of your toaster. Um, and it melted the interior of his car, and he was not a happy camper. Now, you could take this right here, and here in place of this, you could put this type of breaker, but it would have to be a 20 amp breaker. It would have to, have to match the, uh, the breaker that's, uh, or the circuit uh, fuse, uh, fuse link that's inside the battery box. You don't want to go less, but you could actually get one of these, or you could, you could uh, add a couple of jumpers, put some jumpers off, and then take this and put it, put it in line uh, and then leave the 20 amp in line for going to the uh, going to the the e-trike. E but I um, I would say you know if you're going to use one of these, get a 20 amp one. 
put it in place of this uh, Euro connector. And that way you'll have plenty of protection um, all the way around. A 20 amp breaker will be just fine. It's going to disconnect fast just like a 10 amp breaker would. So that's my story. Hopefully it's helpful. Oh, yeah. The other thing is when you're done, wrap this thing up uh, just for safety. Uh, you know, make a cocoon out of <laughs> black tape. Uh, so it doesn't uh, have any access to water. Um, another closing thought. Uh, these are boxes to uh, put your uh, put your your uh, breaker into. They're big and clunky. They they they're not waterproof. Kind of overkill. I mean, they look nice, but uh, I I decided to just uh, I just velcroed mine. Uh, and it's never going to move. And it's inside a box already. This, this whole container is a box. So it's plenty uh, protected from the weather. So with that, thanks for watching. Hopefully people get ideas. And don't be afraid of this stuff. This is not rocket science. Trust me. <laughs> I used to work for Raytheon Aerospace. This is not rocket science. So take it easy, okay? Bye-bye.